Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Judy and you are watching Running So and So and I am really sorry. Hold on a sec. Let's turn that away. You don't need that up, do we? That's my little side screen. I've just turned it away so I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at you. But look at this. I've got very bleary eyes this morning and that is because I spent yesterday Okay, my glasses cleaner over there yesterday at the Stitch Festival and I had the most amazing time. So with no further ado, I've put together a little bit of a clip. I've left the sound on. So enjoy two minutes and 43 seconds of me wandering through the Stitch yeah. Festival. I've walked in to the Stitch Festival <laughs> and been accosted. I didn't even get in and I got accosted. I didn't get in, so I got accosted straight away. <laughs> Hello. You did have to say hello, didn't you? Are and you I've doing got the vlog for us all. Yes, and I've got uh, Adele, and I've got Beck, and yes. I've got Ruth, and I've got the Staffordshire <laughs> Showies. Uh, Ruth's over here, and I've got Liz, and Melanie's wandered off. <laughs> she's there. She's there. <laughs> Rosie, who's taken over so over it from Lisa, and I'm now very heavily into Lisa's. <laughs> oh, I'm very heavily into Lisa's flowers. I haven't divulged that yet. <laughs> but it's just gorgeous seeing everybody around in the sew over it stand. Yes, and I love this at the baby lock stand, but this is my overlocker. And I love this because it's got all of the openings on the top there showing you how everything works. And I just love looking at the inside of it. <sighs> Isn't it gorgeous? So I'm playing hunts and pattern. So I'm, I'm rather liking that for my Balenciaga fabric for Sophie's wedding. Um, for, um, Poria yeah. 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 I'm rather happy that there's cool stuff at the top there as well. So we've just run into Angela from Devon Everyone's joining us for a couple of quick cups. And Rachel and Amanda has flown in just to see us. Amanda and Rachel are both from Ireland. So I've met, finally met her. Yvette from the stash. Oh, I've met Hazel from the Tipsy Sarah's podcast. Which is an absolute dream when I'm dog walking. That, that, that and a bit of a radio fun. I wasn't filming. There we go. Seasons of East and I've just bought all to me New York, which is this dress here, to make for the gathering. Thank you. Really lovely patterns of children as well. So I'm just joining here. Here's Joe. Hello. Hello, Joe. There we go. Look from the top down. I think it's just the most lovely shape. And all these at the back over there and all the way around the top here. It's these little store holders and there's so much beautiful and bits of independent. And what have you got there, Joe? Oh, something with some camper vans on. Oh my no, gosh, yes, you have! It's got camper vans I'm, on I it. I thought that's why you were looking at it. Yeah, it's got yeah. camper vans on it. We were looking at it in the oh, so just yeah. It's got camper vans on it. So oh, I'm, I'm going to make the Tilly and the Buttons oh, yeah. dress out of that, I think. You are? Yeah. The Tilly and the Buttons one? Yeah. I really hope you enjoyed my two minutes of 50 something seconds of whizzing through the Stitch Festival. I had the most amazing time. And it's not just about shopping, it's about saying hello and seeing people in real life and sharing five minutes of time with them. And I am looking down, because I'm looking down at the pictures that I've got that haven't actually, they're showing up on my computer with a little line through them and I'm not quite certain why. So I'm hoping that when I put them in the video, the little line doesn't appear. If it does, I'm terribly sorry and I don't know what I've done and I shall correct it for next time. So please forgive me. But I'm hoping, because when I'm looking at them, the pictures are showing as absolutely perfect. So, as I went through the stitch, the, the day, you can see the order. I mean, I, I went in and I got accosted before I even got into the building by Adele, who was like, this is so for serenity. Hi, oh, it is you, it is you, and over for a great big hug, which was amazing. I could see what Beck so stood sort of away from her because I've never really met Beck until I got in and then I met her for the first time, which was absolutely lovely, super, super lovely ladies with their little group from the Staffordshire Zoe. So we'd come with a little group that we'd put together and they'd come with a group as well, which was just fantastic. And then our little group seemed to split off and splinter and then come back together and split off. And it's just the way it is. And the one thing I really love about the Stitch Festival is it's not in a very big hall. It's, it's, it is a very homely feel to the show. 
I hope I've explained that properly. That's how I feel. It's the show I really like. And to me, it's actually worth getting up early and spending the day in London. So what we did from there is we went in and I, I please excuse me for looking down because I'm looking through what I've got in order. Met some lovely people, looked at some gorgeous stands. I love the baby lock stand where you can see inside your sewing machines um, just to see how the, the mechanisms work. And we sat, we sat down having our lunch and I saw Jess. And I'm going to slip in a little picture because not only did I see Jess, we then saw Angela from Devon Thread Tales and Rachel from the French Seams and Teresa from Lost My Thread and we, we all stood together and there were people wearing yellow. I'm very sorry because I didn't have a yellow dress on. I had my new Lois dress that I'd been making this last week. Uh, that's a Lois dress by Tasuti and I'll come to that in another vlog. And we had probably a good half an hour sat down chatting to Jess. And Jess is somebody that if you don't watch her, I'll put a link to her down below. Please, please watch her. She is so enthusiastic about sewing. I can't praise her highly enough for what she's done for endometriosis research, but that's on another vlog. We chatted life, we chatted weddings, we chatted sewing techniques, and it wasn't planned, it just happened. And Jess sat down with a group of people I was with, and it was just like she'd been with us all day. And that's what makes a festival like this so extra special. Then we hit the Indie Village. I love the Indie Village. You'll be able to see at the end where I was pointing it out and I was trying to explain to Melanie on the way down that because it's all sort of compact in this little area, you get to see so much more. Um, so I met the lovely Mandy from Make It So 23 and then I met the gorgeous Sam from So Let's Sparkle with Sam. I was able to give her a personal thanks for her Vlogmas because some of the things she put out of Vlogmas were just utterly utterly fantastic and then we met the gorgeous Bonnie now I'm really sorry Bonnie if you're watching this I cannot remember the name of your Instagram channel but she was just lovely and Bonnie had gone on her own and it's the sort of event you can go to on your own and you can meet people when you're there so Bonnie a big shout out to you you were such a brave young lady to do that lots of admiration for you and moving down I've got a lovely picture here for, of Grace uh, she's, I think it's now Nusso's Milk or Grace. Anyway, I spoke to her and she, um, like one or two other people, I know Sam was one who commented on the powerful impact that my So Yellow Friendo vlog. So it was lovely to speak to her and lovely to see Michelle, the sewing bunny, who is the most gorgeous person you will ever meet. She is so friendly, always smiling. I've never seen her without that beautiful smile on her face. And it was just so fleeting. And there was Anna, you've got me in stitches in there in the background. And I'm really sorry, I just sort of like, hi Anna. And she was gone because I was busily talking to somebody else. Um, and then from there, what do we do there? We've got, oh yes. From there, we all went out and had the most fantastic meal together, which was wonderful we had a truly wonderful meal and I hope you've enjoyed the pictures that I've just slipped in now we went out for a meal the group of seven of us we shot into Islington and we were going to Peter that was Maggie going off for a bark because somebody moved at the front I can tell you now actually yesterday that Maggie and Poppy were totally spoiled Hannah and Michael came and took them out for the day so they were not left unattended they were collected at midday. Um, the way we work it in our family is that my children and their partners are allowed to drive my car. So Hannah and Michael came down, picked up a friend and bombed off to uh, a local National Trust property for the day and then took Poppy and Maggie out for lunch at a local pub. So they were totally spoilt. And then Melanie's daughter Jessica came in early evening to give them their tea. And I left them a can of dog food. So they were totally okay. Now then, I'm sure you all want to know what it is that I spent my money on. And I'm going to start at the end. And at the end of the day, Melanie, Melanie, blah, 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 Melanie and I had a little bit of time. So we had a little wander through St Pancras Station. And I bought simply the best biscuits in the world. These are the best biscuits in the world. They are a total London blowout treat. They are Fortnum and Mason lemon curd biscuits. And I have said to them several times, can you please just do the biscuits in the cardboard strip? 
They come, I mean, I have had one. I've had a cup of coffee, so I've had to have a biscuit. These don't have any Slimming World sins. They are sin free. But I said, can you not just sell this bit so we can refill the tin? No, they can't. But they are doing some in a cardboard tube now. Um, but they're completely covered in chocolate. But they wouldn't be the same if they were covered in chocolate. They would have sins. <laughs> but these, if you're ever in London and you really fancy a treat, I mean, as I said on my London video, just going into the main Fortnum and Mason to just to experience the, the staircases. Staircases. It's free. You don't have to buy anything. You can go in and experience the, the, um, the staircases. But anyhow, I bought some biscuits. It is the Easter holidays. So, as you will have seen me mention very briefly, I have bought myself the Seasons of East Autumn in New York pattern. Hold fire. Those of you watching me on Stash Hub this week, Stash Chats Live, thank you so much. Um, Yvette said to me that it had gone down really, really well and lots and lots of people had enjoyed the show. Oh, I've just noticed it's got a sticker on it. I hope there, that will be a warning to check for possible fault in the fabric. So this is the Balenciaga fabric and this is the pattern and this is going to be my dress for the gathering. And the gathering is in April. I think it's the 27th of April. But the week before that, Melanie's eldest daughter, Sophie, is getting married. That is what I'm going to wear for the wedding and for the gathering. So put that there. Bye. Bye. Another pattern while I was there. I am a bit of a Maison Four fan. And I bought one pattern from their new collection. I have bought the daiquiri dress. Now, I don't like a daiquiri cocktail, but I do like the daiquiri dress. It's got the most this is why I bought it. Can you see on the back, it's got, I'm leaning to the side. Can you see this lovely fine detail it's got up here? It's got a lovely, I'm coming right in with the camera there. There you go. I love the petal detail on the back. Now, I'm just dashing off with something else. Yesterday, I was talking to the ladies from Maison Fauve and I'm actually going to send them a message because I said, the reason I like the daiquiri dress with this feature on the back is that it reminded me of another Maison Fauve pattern that I bought during the pandemic. And it is the Bloom Top. And the Bloom Top has a lovely little detail of the scalloping again there on the back. And it also has, can you see it there? Scalloping where my finger is on the side. So it's got scalloping here. On the vest top. I've got it upstairs but I'm not going to show you it yet because it is now finished and it's one of those patterns that I made and when I'd finished it it was like a tiny bit tight across here not anymore it fits so that is why I have bought the bloom dress that is why I, I'm gonna have to edit that now that is why I bought Maybe I shouldn't. That's why I bought the daiquiri dress because I thought it fitted in with the bloom dress. In fact, I bought the bloom to go with the Pippa shorts because on the Pippa shorts, you've got a lovely petal detail. Can you see that petal detail there? Now these aren't finished because when I made those, I was too big. But they can now. So I've got those here to one side. Let me just put those down there by that. Now, I did buy some fabric yesterday. So I need to go on Stash Hub. I need to put this on Stash Hub and I need to put the Seasons of East pattern on Stash Hub. But, and I didn't want to show you the video of this at the time because I thought it would spoil the surprise. Now, for the pattern for this, you need a viscose, a medium to lightweight fabric, 80 to 200 grams per square meter. So they're suggesting viscose, soft jacquard, tensile, cotton, crepe, poplin, satin twill, a beautiful lace or a cotton voil. So I found on the M. Rosenberg and Sun stand this absolutely stunning fabric. Now it will need a lining. 
because it is marginally see-through. I can see the camera through this. So I am now on the hunt for a lining and this is where I need to help. I mean, it is completely me. What do you think? It is completely me. The structure of the fabric allows its movement to move freely and gently and to simulate that breeze effect to it. Um, it is gorgeous, it is stunning, but those are the words I use all the time and I'm trying to think of new ones. So here we go. And for my holiday, I think it will be nothing short of perfection. I am going to sadly have to pay out a little bit to get the right lining for it. And I know where my first port of call for that lining will be because I know that I will be able to pick up exactly what I want. So I need to save up and buy the right lining because this dress will need lining because of the sheerness of the fabric. But it will also need lining in a very lightweight silk. I need the silk of the same weight and I will be able to source that and I know that Joel and Son will have some. So we'll put that to one side and that is definitely going to get made. And the other fabric I bought, I cannot remember the name of the stand I bought it on. I do not have a credit card receipt for it because I paid cash for it, but it is a viscose and it is a William Morris viscose. Can you see that? It's a very traditional design and I've only up until this time seen William Morris fabrics printed on a craft cotton base, not on a viscose base. Um, let me see if it says if it's made by... Visage, Visage Te... It's by Visage Textiles and it is 100% viscose. And the reason I bought so much is that, as you all know, I'm a room volunteer up at Castle Howard. And we have a big connection at Castle Howard with William Morris because the ninth Countess of Carlisle, she was the one who brought in a lot of new decor to the castle and she had a friendship with William Morris. Hence the castle's connection with William Morris because of their friendship. And I thought it would be lovely to have something nice to wear up as a room guide in the summer months. Now, that was simply my haul. Two patterns, two pieces of fabrics and a tin of biscuits. So I hope you have really, really enjoyed my little trip around the Stitch Festival and that my enthusiasm for this event rubs off on you. And if you didn't go this year, you think maybe I will go next year. I would wholeheartedly recommend it that you do. Now then, there is going to be another bit of this video carrying on now and I'm giving you a great big spoiler alert. If I could blow a horn or ring a bell I would do. I am simply going to go like this. Putting it down again. When I was having my dinner Hannah sent me a text and she said by the way mum we dropped the dogs back and your pink door box is there and I put it on the kitchen for you. So, this is your spoiler alert. If you don't want to see what's in my pink door box, now is the time to go. Thank you so much for watching. Come back when you've had your pink door box and you've opened it if you wish to see what's in my box. If you don't mind, if you don't get the box, carry on watching. And if you don't mind uh, having a spoiler, carry on watching. But either way, I am warning you all now, I'm opening up my box. I don't spoil anyone's surprises. So please don't watch any more if you want that surprise. And I will put on the Instagram story the time that the unboxing starts. So here goes. Pink door unboxing. Are you ready? I'm starting the unboxing now. This is really going to put the kibosh on what I was hoping to make this week because it is now the holidays. This is, I think, the last box from Ireland. I think the next box will come from the UK. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful decorated box. And as ever, enjoy the little things. So here we go. 
even get into it this month, can I? Now I'm going to close down my computer. I haven't opened it yet. Let me just check. I've worked out, folks, that I can actually do this now, and it, it does work really. This is because I moved my sewing room around. And I'm actually recording with a natural light. Right, Andrea, I am going to start crying. The first thing I have seen in my box. If anybody, anybody at school dares go near it, they'll have me to answer to. Oh my gosh, I love a drinking cup. Oh, oh, I do. Oh, I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. That is just absolutely fantastic. So, I'm having a feel for my e-card, for my mental card, because I want to know. What do I do? I don't want to damage this stunning, 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 stunning tissue paper. It's all nice and pretty. I've seen the card. Oh, shall we go for it, folks? She's done it again. Scan the code to go on the ebook. Here we go. And the card says Floral Fest. Oh my gosh. Right. So the book, it says here this box has got two and a half metres of fabric and there are four different colourways. Now I am looking at the colourways and you've got it right, Andrea. Spot on. So we have here a lovely zip, which will be useful, some tea, and look at this fabric. It is an it's a cotton from Vahiz Textile in collaboration with Nerida Hansen. Is that not just the most gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fabric? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna to have to lift it up. Now, I am not gonna look at the ebook now. Andrea, you've got it right. What am I going to make with this? I need to make another lowest dress by Tissuti Patterns. That would be my first thought for a port of call, for a dress for this. But my mind has gone dead because I'm absolutely blown away with the fabric. I've never had a fabric by Neri de Hansen before. And I think you've completely and utterly floored me for ideas. Blouses, dresses, jumpsuits. Do you know, a Zadie jumpsuit in this would be so striking. And look, it goes with my pogo nip. So anything I wear to go underneath it, I could do a saltwater slip, but it might be a little bit on the heavy side. No, it won't. It's all right for a saltwater slip. But I'm thinking traditional dress. I think a fringe dress, and I know it's a staple that we keep coming back to. Or there's the older and fabro dresses. I am right. Now, the farrow dress, it's um, a really simple straight up and down dress from Grey Line Studio, is an excellent one, and you would have more than enough fabric to make view A without the sleeves. You could probably do a very small hack to get view B out if you shortened the sleeves. If you wanted to have a dress with a shorter sleeve, you would probably more than likely be able to get it out. 
But the one I was thinking of, and this is possibly what I might go for because I do have one of these already, is the older shirt dress. Now it's a beautiful sleeveless shirt dress. And I think I'd be looking at doing view B where you've got a slight gathering at the front. I have done view A before and it's gorgeous. The other dress it would look gorgeous in is the Cali shirt dress by Closet Core Patterns. That is what I'm thinking of at the moment, but I'm not going to commit. But it's definitely a dress. Really, I'm thinking lowest dress. I'm very sorry my mind is dead on lots and lots of different ideas, but it's wonderful. Thank you, Andrea, so very, very much. Again, I'm sorry if my unboxing has been quick. I need to go and edit this. I need to go and get some sleep. <laughs> but I need to go and get some food for Sunday dinner and go and say hello to Hannah and Michael because I've not seen them for a few days. So for now, thank you so much for watching. Andrea, I love my box. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you all again very soon. Lots of love. Bye-bye.